Ready to go on a never ending journey as I explore the keys to longevity and quality of life with the most brilliant and enlightened minds on the planet? Join us as we embark on the quest for ideal health. I'm Ava, your host and the founder of the Rockwell School of Functional and Holistic Medicine, where holistic visions come to life. In today's episode, we speak with Steve O'Connor from the National Health Freedom Coalition. And we're going to learn incredible things. If you're a holistic provider, you can't miss this episode. Okay. Hello, everyone. Today I'm with Stephen O'Connor of the National Health Freedom Coalition. Um, Stephen, can we say um, hello there? Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's great to be here. Again, Stephen O'Connor, I'm a staff attorney with uh, both the National Health Freedom Coalition, which is an educational group, and then the National Health Freedom Action, uh, which is a, a political group allowed to endorse uh, 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 endorse proposed laws and lobby and all those things. And I've been with this group for about a year and a half. And was very excited to join because I was so concerned about the COVID situation. Um, and uh, my background prior to that was varied, but one of the things I did the most was a public defender, criminal defense, which is fun when you're young, but it kind of wears you out. And so our group, our founder, one of our founders, we have a few founders, uh, is Diane Miller who's been a real leader in the National Health Freedom uh, Movement. Um, and she actually, prior to starting this group, she had, right out of law school, represented a farmer who was charged with practicing medicine without a license for selling colostrum from cows. And so she was able to get two hung juries and then finally get that dismissed. And then in 2001, her and a couple other folks started these two organizations. Um, and currently, we have two main focal points, but our mission is related basically to calling for access to and information about and access to all of the healing arts that folks in this country want. Um, and uh, our two main focal points currently are one, what we call safe harbor, and two, what we call the right to refuse. So safe harbor laws are laws that allow alternative healers to practice without facing charges for practicing medicine without a license. Because most states, their definitions of practicing medicine are so broad that a mom telling their kid, well, I think you have a cold, you should take vitamin C, that tech, no, no one would be prosecuted, but technically that fits many of the state definitions. Um, and so far, 11 states have passed these safe harbor laws. And again, it's to give a safe harbor to the alternative practitioners. But the states with these type of laws are Maine, Nevada, Colorado, New Mexico, Louisiana, Rhode Island, California, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Idaho, and then Arizona, but Arizona is limit their safe harbor. Really, the way it's written only applies to homeopaths. It's not a more general uh, safe harbor. Um, and so, so we basically are the first half of what we do around safe harbor is working with state groups and mentoring and coaching on on uh, let on how to write bills and how to lobby helping state groups pass these safe harbor laws. And currently, I think we're working with um, Oregon, Connecticut, and Massachusetts have folks that are active in uh, trying to get a safe harbor. And generally speaking, what, you know, if, if folks, if, if somebody out there thinks that, that, that they want a safe harbor law in their state, uh, I want to say that 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 they might be the one to get started. And basically, if you can get like three or more folks together, uh, then we will meet with you weekly as far as uh, coming up with legislation, lobbying, how to get how to get a safe harbor law passed. And then the second main thing that we've been working on.
Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. For more info on how you can become a holistic provider, visit us online at schoolofholisticmedicine.com.